Hello, my name is Acidical Portal, and welcome to my next YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a part that kills people in your game that you can add to it. So first of all, I'm going to create a part, and I'm going to name it something. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Kill Part, or Kill Brick, actually. And sometimes we make it red to signify, say if it's an obby, that it means danger. I'm going, but you can make it whatever color you want, but I'm just going to make it red. So I'm going to add a script into the thing. And I'm going to name the script kill script. So I can signify that this is what that script does. So this is very simple. I know code can be sometimes uh, intimidating to some people, but I'm just going to do something very basic. So for today's video, uh, we're going to do a very simple script. So first I'm going to put local because it means we're adding kind of our own value when you put loco. Brick. So I'm going to name it brick. This is brick is the name of the value that I put. So I'm going to make this equal. So we're going to make it equal to script.parent. So the, so this value is equal to our parent kill brick. So that's what it means when we put brick. So I'm going to make a uh, function. So this is going to be local function. And then we're going to put for the command player touched. And then we'll have part. So we'll, so the code basically says when the player touches the part, it means that that will, it will connect this function and it will kill the player that touched the part. So, then we want to do local parent. So this local function is equal to the parent. And we're going to do part dot parent. So this is our part. And then we're going to use this as the parent. So if game dot players, and then we're going to connect this with get players from character parent then and then it'll add an end to it but first we want to put for the value we want to put parent dot humanoid because humanoid is underneath your name dot health equals zero so now we need to call the function so i'm going to put brick no not brick color sorry brick dot touched and then we're going to connect the function with player touched player touched so we want to get rid of this we don't need those parentheses right there so this should complete the function so if i go into game this should be about it so when i step on the brick it'll kill my player and my head fell through the map so yeah, that's about it for this video. I wanted to make it sweet and quick. If you guys like the video, like if you like, dislike if you dislike. And that's about it. See you guys later.